Farm Guy here, and this is Cow Barn Set by Lancy Boy on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map where I do all my animal barn testing. And this is 15.46 megabytes to download, 26 slots each on console. It's a set of two cow barns. Now, let's first find them under animals and cows, and here they are. So they're quite large. We also have color options on the side panels there. If we can see, there we go. We have several options there for colors. 500, uh, 500 cows, 100,000 liters. I'm guessing that's um, milk, oh, but we'll see. Um, spin it around however you like. Farm dog Max is excited. Uh, the other uh, cow barn is uh, under also under animals. Come on, animals and cows. Uh, so two hundred thousand for that. Two hundred and fifty for this. I do believe it's still twenty six slots. This is the one with the um, uh, feeding robot. We also have colors, colors, colors. Lots of colors. Right. <clears throat> okay. So. Let's look at the first one. We have uh, an unload here. I do believe this is the slurry unload. All these doors open and close. Let's get our help window on. There we go. Uh, here is the animal dialogue. I have 500 Holstein, uh, old, uh, 18 month old Holstein. So they should be producing milk right away. The food goes in here. So TMR, um, if we take a look at our there we go. So it'd be a hay grass or TMR in either one. So I don't have any in this one because that's the feeding robot. We'll talk about that in a moment, but straw, 150,000 liters of straw and 60,000 liters of food. For 500 cows, mm, we'll see if that lasts. <clears throat> I'm assuming, or I'm guessing the milk load point is here. And this barn says it has Manure, as we can see, bottom right corner says manure capacity, so slurry manure and milk. So I'm, I'm, we're going to see where the um, manure pops up. Shed lights right here in this area. L3 turns the shed lights on and off. Very nice. Don't have to search around for a trigger much. Uh, straw goes in here, so we have two fill points. We have a food fill point over there. Uh, very large area and we have a straw fill point here yes it takes uh, bales straw bales so uh, very good and the straw fills in here you can see it up here we have doors all over the place lots of good access very nice well lit we also have a feature here marked by these little items as uh, open and close the doors so you can open and close these i believe uh there's one here yes so that one does that entire side and there's one over here that does does this entire side open and close very nice I like how it's marked out there. Very nice and easy to kind of like, hey, what's over here? Oh, okay. Very nice. All right. Moving on over to the automatic robot one. So very much like the standard base game one, we have an area where you fill in silage, straw, and hay. Bales also accepted here, or you can dump it in loose. Uh, to see the capacities, oh yes, mineral feed here, very standard stuff there, all very nice. Now, as we come here, this is where you see the, if you have your field info on, for some reason, it won't show you your capacities in here, you have to go over here, and then, if you can see bottom right corner, we have the barn capacities down all the way down, including the slurry, and then hay, silage, straw, and mineral feed. That is what's in the um, robot area. Again, close and open the doors. So this one, it does not have the trigger for manure. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that we're not going to see any manure appear here. And uh, what I'm going to do is place 
down a uh, manure silo. Uh, let's uh, let's put it over here on this side. We can get it quite close. We're going to get it quite close up to here. Give it a best chance of collecting manure. There we go. So we got a manure silo set up there. It should catch it there. And that's it. So nice, uh, nice, simple, nice design, nice and large, nice wide doors. You can get in and out easily. We have these areas. You can easily come in and out of there if you like. Right. So we are going to run it so i didn't put any i didn't put any food in there and i'm going to see if the robot um can sustain or can fill up enough food on there to sustain the cows that's that's what i do with every robot barn to see if uh if it can do that um but that's what we're going to do first if it, if it can't then we're going to fill it with food and see if that works or not but um that's how i'm going to test that this one i filled with food as you can see so we're going to see if uh, sixty thousand liters of food is enough for these fellows to last a month i always go one month one day months and there you go so we'll see you in a bit i'm going to run it and we're going to come back and see what transpires all right, so we have zipped ahead a month. Let's take a look up here. Oh dear, as I have feared, uh, cows have run out of food on this one, unfortunately. So 60,000 liters is not enough food for 500 cows as I feared. Let's see if we got manure. We do not have any manure produced at all. Um, plenty of straw. The straw went down. We have no manure. I've seen this problem before. Any other barn, you produce manure right away. It's just how it works. And I don't know why. Um, I, I do know. Um, I'm not sure why it's happening. Um, I know on the previous. See this one, there's plenty of manure here. So that works. I know it's producing manure. But why... Would I have to go several months to wait for manure to appear in a barn that has a built-in manure? Uh, and I know uh, Lancy Boy has made a comment on my previous video about a built-in manure um, area that I'd have to run it a few more months to get manure to show up. Uh, we're going to try that but i still maintain the fact that you shouldn't have to do that you should get manure right away and unfortunately it's going to need an update anyways to increase the capacity of the food both of them uh, have run out of food the robot does not make enough food to sustain the cows obviously and here he is hello little robot um right so the the robot has just finished putting food in there and there is no food so what's going on is the robot not actually putting food in here the, there's milk so he must be putting some food the milk and slurry is being produced and manure so right so let's um let's before we do that let's uh, check these triggers shall we there's the uh, slurry. Okay, slurry trigger works. And uh, not to rag on Lancy Boy, the uh, I am not a modder, and modding is not easy. I know. It is a very intensive um, thing to do. Lots of hours spent, lots of hard work. However, um, players need to know these things, and if something's not working, they need to know and milk there too yes that works because uh, if someone uh, has this barn and um, plays it like I do and now they're like why aren't we getting any manure so let me uh, re okay we can actually you know what we'll take this opportunity to show you um, 
products going in. We can also check, uh, let's go, uh, while well, this is filling with TMR, actually I have, I've, I kind of cheated. I have a, uh, where is it? Here. I have a, uh, the Rumbler van full of TMR actually, and um, I'll just show you where the food goes in with this, because I got lots in here and it's, it won't take much time. There we go. So we have refilled the food in the cows. It's the premium food. And uh, the robot will also be running. So, uh, oh, looks like our hay is almost gone. Let's see here, straw. Yeah, we've run out of hay. Silent straw and mineral feed, plenty of there, but the hay is out too. That's not good. So the hay capacity is lacking as well. Few things need to be tweaked, obviously. Still very nice design. Of, unfortunately, if it's not, if your cows are starving, um, nobody's going to want to. Uh, nobody's going to want to use these. If the cow, if they keep constantly being run out of food so um straw let's show you where's my there we go i will show you the straw going in in bales that is And it actually goes in quite easy, so no problems here with the straw. If I come over here and I just like, um, I unload, unload here, the straw actually uh, should. Yeah, we're, uh, oh, where we are, here we go. Yeah, fully loaded with straw now. So let's, uh, let's get those back up on here. Let's refill the, um, Let's refill these fellas here, because they're going to need it. These also take straw bales, as you can see here. Straw bale. Straw bale. Oh, that one's full. Silage bales, I do believe yes silage bales too look at that so i'm gonna refill the hay i refill these uh we're gonna run it again and see how long it takes to get manure to spawn in that um in that barn and we're gonna see if um filling so we have so just so you know the food i filled the barn with food and we're gonna fill the uh fill all the items in this robot feeder place here too and get that and see if that will last a month or not so we'll see in a bit well another month has gone by we had refilled this and still no manure um, we're gonna give it a few more college tries to see if we can get manure to spawn here but I'm not I'm not liking the results again we're out of food it cannot sustain uh, 60,000 liters is not enough to sustain all of those cows. Uh, the other, the other barn just barely squeaked by with, oh, there's the, uh, the robot. Let's get, let's get that out of the way so Mr. Little Robot can come here. Um, so this one, yes, um, has barely scraped by. It does still have a little bit of food left. 15,000 liters after filling it with 60,000 liters and having the robot feed it we're already out of hay again so that's a big problem using a lot of hay compared to the other solid straw and mineral feed still a fair bit of those left um right so there he is feeding the robot is feeding it's not even showing up it's just so little <laughs> it's I don't even know what's it's not showing that it's actually uh, maybe it sh shows up as soon as it 
I think it sh shows up as in the, the barn as soon as it mixes it in the mixing, the robot mixing area. So this is just kind of like an animation filling it. Uh, let's see about our manure. Yes, we have lots of manure already. So putting down a manure silo beside this one has gathered 174,000 liters of manure. Now that is manure we are missing from the other one still. And uh, so let's... Um, Let's fill it up with food again, and we'll we're gonna keep cranking on it until we see some uh, some manure up here, where I'm I'm supposing it's and cow barn right bottom right corner manure zero liters, um, so I'm gonna continue flogging this for a while, and then finally I'm gonna put down a a silo beside it, which I shouldn't have to if it has a manure I just pet peeve of mine if it has a manure spot in it it should catch manure just saying all right month three still nothing put more food in more foods in we're gonna hit it for another month well four months months four months along it should have had some unless it's there's no way that that other manure pit all the way over there is collecting the manure from this one so I give up I give up on trying to make this manure pit in here collect manure we're gonna put one down put a base game one down which I shouldn't have to because well it has a manure pit built in that's just just saying right so more food there we go, food's filled up again. And off we go, and if we see if we can collect some manure in here then, shall we? Let's try. Well, a funny thing happened to me to the other day. Oh, right now, actually. Um, so you see me put down this manure heap. But there's no manure in there. Why? Why, you may ask? There's no manure in there? Well, all of a sudden it starts appearing in here. Well, isn't that odd? I think that's, well, quite personally, I think that's ridiculous. Um, why do I need to put down a manure silo so that the built-in manure silo will collect manure? I just think there's something wrong there. Um, and that's just me saying that. But um, yeah, that's me saying that. Um, well, on, on, the, on the upside, we uh, know what our capacities for milk and slurry are, uh, 60 and 200,000. Um, so that's a bonus about this whole, de whole deal, I suppose. Um, so I'm going to go grab this trailer, and we're going to make sure that that uh, manure trigger works. Now that we have manure there... I don't see why I, I yeah I, I'm not going to ramble on about it uh, I have said my piece and uh, this is a, this is not a handy spot for a manure trigger uh, let's see this and this is a just a medium so let's see if I can back in there from here There we go, start filling manure, okay. So, there you are folks. Um, if you want manure to spawn in the barn, you have to set down a manure silo beside it that won't catch manure so that inside one will. Anyways, yeah. There you go, the barn, cow barn set by Lancy Boy on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching and remember, it's only a game so Till the next one, bye for now.